Hey guys, it's me Mossy Man. Welcome back to another live stream today. It's you know what? Recording. Yeah, guys. Uh, yeah. Oh, fine, I'm fine out of the way. So, fine, guys. Start again. You guys are new to the channel on Twitch, follow and come and um, ring the bell thing. If you're on YouTube, like subscribe. I'm not going to be on the video anyway. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Ooh. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Sorry if it's laggy for you guys. Sorry if it's laggy for you guys. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. And we're here. Hey guys, it's me, Mosa Gamer. Just make sure that you enjoy it, or you can hear me earlier. Hear me earlier. Today we're playing Stanley Hellboy. Maybe I might make a live stream where you guys can choose what options I choose and what ending to go for in the chat. Like you guys said, I have to like, and you guys have to choose, choose what I do. Okay, there, 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 All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No yeah. matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. How do I reset my um, achievement? Achievement. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll just play from here. Okay. Oh, nice painting. <sighs> okay, so yeah, let's go over here. What? Oh, four, four, five, four, four, one, fifteen. Put that in there. 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh, let's see. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. What does that say? Uh, general. Big-hearted. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. The a room so utterly oh. captivating that even so, though all your co-workers yeah, have mysteriously they, vanished, here you yeah, sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth the it. Me sound smashed by What's that say? Venice. At this point, Stanley's Gym. obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly oh, on his Mark. overall personality. One, two, three, four. It's possible oh, that this is why oh, everyone good, good. left. I'm playing the Stanley Pearl. Yeah, it's a good game. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Hey Mark, should I go left, forward in the elevators? Stuff? Or should I go straight ahead? I'll wait for you to the episode. Okay. It's me if I'm on Discord. If, then, if I'm on Discord. Yeah, but which way should I go? Left? Oh, no, it's a decision. I don't tell me to go this way. Back to the story. Oh, this way. You know what? Let's go. Oh, no. I'll do a live stream with Stanley uh, was so bad at following case. directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Choose. The player to choose. I mean, the viewers to choose. Which is which I choose to make. And you get probably a chance to make it. Uh, it's too late now. Because there's a delay. I'll open up the thing. Left. It's that way, but. Put that again. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not oh. your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you or... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen okay, carefully, this check. is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Nope, red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing, yeah, because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What well, would have made this game better? Well, this what did you want to see? Game. Vehicles? Skill trees? End. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what, let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay, I will take it for a spin. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! Yes. 
You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park. So we should like animate Let's take a look. the um, entire game style system. Standing the worldwide leader leaderboard. Can you play with me today or not? Yes, maybe sometime today, but not now. I'm playing, already playing the game. Where's your single player? There's me. This is you. Oh, yeah, you're last. You are objectively great. Can we not ask for any help? Yeah, our friends is this presented. Oh, we got a here. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. One. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Yes, Let me like. boot it up. Out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, stream this up. seems like it'll work. Let's give I'll it a shot. I'll edit out where, where you could only choose where I do, do choose options. Up oh, the mic. I don't have I own a mic. Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. this I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here. Uh, no, here. And then... Let's see, what does it need? What is I, uh, it? Yes, what? of it's course. And just to finish it all off... Yes, it's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze Good upon house. my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. In that place. The actual sky work. I should up the Oh my! Update it looks game. like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Yes, yeah, I made that. No, I hate this. Is home. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I, I have in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Oh, I hate home. He <laughs> yes, I don't even know what it's this game, game is, but I love it. You Spoiled. trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what yeah. the hell this is. <laughs> Oh, it's a 
puzzle? Critical thinking, Stan. Your forte. Genius. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care Wait, much what? to see you stumble through any. Wait a minute. This was like the beta. Fourth beta. Please. Please. I don't like your. One Have we? Yeah, we play portal too. Eight five. Throwing <laughs> cabinets. Just for. Little you. Info. Yes, Ah, bowling. Well, that was the anti climax. Romantic. Hello, five ten. Hello, five and nine. Hello, five or eight. Hello, five or seven. Oh, five, oh, oh, four, two, three. Oh, four, two, four. Oh, wait, one here. Oh, four, two, five. And here's my nothing. So, oh, the illusion of nothing. From the, um, the beta test, I'm like, I think, the original one. I'll take source code. Everything's all the same. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Here, is a one, two, three, four, one. Stanley, this is me being serious. In fact, this is my serious room. It's where I come to be serious. That table is the most serious table I could find. I looked at many, many tables, hundreds of tables. It's possible I looked at over a thousand tables. I honestly don't know. The specific number isn't as important as the understanding that of all tables I looked at, this one is the most serious. I relate this story to impress upon you the extent to which this is the most serious room I have, which is why I brought you here. You just tried to activate server cheats, which of course runs the risk of breaking the entire game. You've got no respect for the strict order of scripted narrative events, and I just can't have that. It's time to get serious, Stanley. No jokes, no games. Outside of this room, I might be more tolerant of those things, but game. now we're in the room. Which is why I'm subjecting you to the most serious punishment I can think of. One hundred billion trillion years standing here in the serious room. Perhaps after that... We can talk about the severity of your actions and whether you've learned anything. 
But until then, serious room. Go. Whoa. Did we not have the talk? Are we not in the serious room this very moment? Did I not tell you how many tables I looked through? I'm going to be conservative and say it was somewhere in the tens of thousands of tables. Any reasonable person would say I spent an absurd amount of time doing nothing but looking at tables, and I genuinely considered each one too. I took a hell of a lot of notes. I kept the notes in a different room. That room is less serious than this one. It's more of a... a notes room. Again, the point of this story is to convey how serious I feel this cheating issue is. And I'm sure you'll agree with me once you've fulfilled your new punishment. Infinity years in the serious room. I generally have trouble reading human emotions, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that you're devastated by this crippling new punishment. As well you should be. It's the most serious I could think of. Can you get more serious than that? No, you can't. Don't try. Hmm. Still no effect. The problem is clearly the serious room. It isn't serious enough. That's on me, Stanley. I apologize. I'm going to the store to look through more tables. Hopefully I find one that conveys how wrong what you're doing is. Now, where did I put those notes?